Hi guys, welcome once again to uh, one of my little videos and today um, I'm actually on the bench um, playing with um, just a box full of components really. Um, I I was watching, um, well, sorry, I was listening to a, a podcast the other day um, called uh, Soul to Smoke and um, Bill was talking to uh, Pete on there and uh, said that he'd actually made a little uh, direct conversion receiver and I thought well I'll, uh, I must have enough parts to, to make sort of something a little interesting and here it is now at the moment um, this has actually got some some issues which I'm, I'm working on and um, this is the basic little circuit um, now just going through what this is this is actually the the, the, the front end amplifier of um, a direct uh, conversion uh, receiver and over here I have one this is actually the the full the full circuit now I've actually broken it down into smaller parts and you're, you can actually see each one of these modules and this is actually a really good little circuit to, to learn a little bit about receivers on um, it starts with this this front end amplifier uh, you've got a little bit of filtering in there you've got gain control um, for the uh, for the JFET um, this here is the is the amplifier which is taking a small signal in and then giving you a slightly bigger one out that heads off into into the mixer circuit and then that kicks it off and uh, turns it into audio and actually then gives uh, this here is that is an audio circuit now Bill purposely has not used ICs on this um, where possible um, I mean he could have quite easily used like a I don't know an LM380 or something um, here um, to, to create like a small audio amplifier ready ready done but he's done this in in parts and that's actually really quite neat because again it teaches you just how these things work and, and I'm no expert on this sort of stuff um, and it was just interesting for me just how a receiver circuit um, works and down the bottom here this is um, quite possibly one of the most important parts of a um, if not the, the most important part of any receiver um, or for that matter a transmitter is uh, is the VFO now he's using here instead of using a crystal typical crystal he's using actually a ceramic resonator um, now I just so happens I have a couple of those kicking around now I've got some SMD ones and I've got some um, just standard two pin or two leg ones um, kicking around and brilliant it works on the on that frequency as well I'm really very happy so I'm going to get that that to go now there are a couple of questions that I have on here which I can't answer and um, one of them being is this uh, this Zener I'm going to have to guess what that that Zener is um, there and um, there are maybe a few other things but the one problem I got at the moment which is causing me the most trouble it's this this JFET now Bill doesn't actually give you what this JFET is now I suspect I can't remember which way around it is well I think it's the 3819 I think it's that one there I, I, one of these is a JFET and I suspect that he's had a few of those in in the junk box and I think that should actually be one of those now I've actually got that as a J310 mainly because I had one in my hand when I was doing it so in it went there um, and unfortunately it doesn't work so everything so far works I mean I've got the you can see here we've got the gain lovely the capacitors there that work there the adjustable uh, capacitors there um, obviously the inductor um, we've got him there um, that capacitor there linking in is is there um, um, I've actually I've got quite a lot of SMD components and I love working with SMD components. I don't know why, they just um, it's quite therapeutic trying to get them to work. Now I'm using this this sort of kind of a pad board stuff. Um it's quite good this stuff. Um you can use hookup wire just to, to link the, the things together. Or as I've done here, well I've I've done I peeled just a piece of wire and just linked it across on the back just to give me my, my different um different rails and bits and pieces it does take a little bit of get you know thinking about 
Now I was actually going to do this dead bug and um, all sort of like Manhattan and I, you know, I thought no, I'll, I'll give it a go like that. And it's, I quite enjoyed it. These boards are really cheap off of eBay um, and, you know, they are very useful. Uh, so yeah, that's that bit. Right, so speedily on, I'm going to show you here, because again, this is a junk box project, okay, and I'm trying to work with everything I've got. Now, I don't have huge amounts of um, ferrite things and stuff kicking around, it's just really not what's in my in my sort of armoury. Um, so I went into McDonald's the other day for breakfast and um, picked up a straw and taken a bit of 0.4 enamelled wire and been online to one of the um, millions of calculators um, I'll try and link to a good one if I can find one on this video and it's given me, you put in the diameter of the, of the well it's actually the centre of the conductor core um, diameter and you just basically put that into the, the little uh, calculator um, and calculate the inductance uh, or from the amount of turns and away you go. So what I'm going to do is I'll just wind a few of these. Now if I remember rightly mine was actually 20, 28 turns or something like that and the nice thing with these straws is they've got like a, a nice bright red line on so you, every time the, the line comes around you can count it. Now I would go a few extra, okay, and when we've done this, you can see it's not it's not that diff difficult. It won't take lot too long to do. Um, oh, it's getting a bit hooked up. Say, so see, it's not that difficult, and there you go. You want to keep that as neat as possible, really, really neat. And then if we take I've got a little bit of tape waiting off over the corner, try not to get it all stuck over myself. Now I use um, for doing this sort of stuff um, hot glue and uh, clear nail varnish. Um, they seem to be one of the best things for doing this this sort of stuff. And you can see here, I've just taped it on. Um, and what you can do then is you can either, but I mean the the, the thing is you you've got to try and and get this to the right value before you start peeling off um, things. Now I know this this is going to be more than I need, um, and here's one I prepared earlier. Um, I know this is going to be more than I need, um, and quite simply we take that like so, and we've now got to measure him up. Just hook him on there like so. Now I'm just using a peak LCR meter here. Okay, just whiz that in there like so. And we know it's low in, so it's 0.5 ohms and it's about 7 uh, microhenries. Um, and that's pretty, pretty close to what we want. Um, I know that I've got to peel a couple of. Um, uh, bits off and that will actually give me um, the, the right sort of uh, figure once that's done happy days I'll come back to that one and I'll video it as it goes um, again this is a little kit I bought off of eBay it was a couple of quid and nothing much um, this is actually going to be on my frequency counter this has some problems it had a duff component or the wrong component in there um, I mean I built this kit up this evening it took about 10 minutes um, and I've just shorted this out here because this is actually a voltage regulator um, and it was faulty. Um, it got very hot in the circuit. Now I've got a piece of test kit here which um, which will limit the amount of current so it doesn't destroy anything which is really, I recommend them really a lot. Um, you know you can, uh, at least if there's a problem it's not going to blast a zillion amps into it. Um, anyway I spotted that that was actually getting quite warm um, and it wasn't good so anyway yeah all sorted anyway that'll do for the minute thanks for watching um, as I say and there will be more I will be videoing this as and, as and when I get it working so
big thumbs up thanks for watching um, don't forget to subscribe cheers bye bye bye, -bye.